Harvard. I'm sure this occasion must be as gratifying to you as it is to me and to the rest of us. I'm glad to say marks a new epoch in the development of this child. I suppose it really climaxes in the fact that you and I are the first actors on the television stage. Mm, it's interesting that whoever decided to set up the camera said, you know, let's put it about 50 feet back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that part should have been, you know, the easy part of the broadcast. Anyway, guess what? That was July 7th, 1936, otherwise known as the date of Rick's Sweet 16 Day. Yeah, I remember that day well. <laughs> yes. It was really extraordinary being there. It's like a bar mitzvah, but, but different. But anyway, for the first time ever, NBC, with the assist from RCA, as you saw, broadcast the first television show ever. Of course, there were only three TVs capable of viewing the broadcast, but... But look what it laid the groundwork work for. Uh, we had Jack Benny to Bewitch to what All in the Family to Alf to Seinfeld to Game of Thrones. Watching the tube is here to stay, or is it? According to the New York Post, in an article that was in today's edition, TV ratings are seeing major declines. February was the fifth straight month that viewers have tuned out by double-digit numbers. Only three networks have seen an increase in viewers. That's HGTV, Discovery, TBS, and, oh wait, I'm sorry, four newer <laughs> networks, Newsmax. Yes, we are climbing. One theory for the drop is because, well, we're now getting our shows online. So, Rick, you also created a bunch of TV shows. 40% of households have internet TV streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and Newsmax TV and, and, and the rest of them. Uh, is this a trend that will eventually say, bye-bye cable, I'm canceling no my No question service. about it. Absolutely no <sighs> question about it. It's a question of when. Look, you know, I, I am fond of saying the baby boomer generation, which I am part of, contrary to what some people mm -hmm. think here, thinking I'm older, um, <laughs> we, we really started television. We did and we're going to finish television. It will end with us. And you know, the methods of distribution now are absolutely gonna be over the internet uh, and, and things like that. It's probably no more than five years away, so nobody should be five surprised. Yeah. yeah, it's really close. I mean, you, you talk to kids today, they don't watch television. They'll watch Hulu or you know whatever, but they're getting it online. Okay, here, here, here's where I have an issue with this. I just purchased recently, not that expensive by the way, a 60 inch uh, smart still use Samsung TV. Yeah, I know, but will it be as easy to change channels? Sure. Like right now, yeah. if I want to, I got to hook up something and I got to go through 20 different things in my remote and easy. it just seems so easy to just go through my cable. I know it's expensive, but I can never see myself parting with it. But, but the really? thing is, with a yeah. smart TV, you can have it at home and then go on your vacation and watch what you have at home on your vacation. It right. really, once you figure it out, it makes it really easy. And Rick's point is well taken. There was a poll done today of millennials about how they get their news. Number one way is social media and second one way, second way is searching. So they are are looking for content as opposed to having the content right. just sitting there in front of them. Mm. And I think that that's going to continue across the board, whether it be entertainment, news, whatever it may be. And I think you're going to see content in all different kinds of arenas. Yeah, but I don't think we're talking about the death of TV. I mean, we're, still, we're talking about smart TVs. We're talking about right. TVs. It's the we're, delivery. It's the delivery. Yeah. And, I, you know, and, and I see that in you know, people of my generation, which are a lot younger than your generation. <laughs> and I see it in my kids. Uh, you know, they do not get tell my son does not my son hasn't watched a network right. except for maybe a sports network. And I don't know when. He gets all of his stuff through Hulu. He gets all of it through, you know, alternative means, Netflix. In fact, I remember meeting with a television producer four years ago and he said, the future of television is Hulu, and that's where I'm working out. I laughed while we're having coffee. I, I always said, find no it way. interesting. Sorry to cut you no. off. That when you look at the average age of the three cable news networks, and Fox, the average age, which means it's above and below, right. 68. And even MSNBC, which is to be cool and hip and for liberals, 63. And then you go down to CNN, and I think it's 59. But, yeah. but, but look isn't that amazing? That's, yeah, that but look at what's old. happening, though. I mean, as I think back over my viewing over the past two weeks, I have certainly spent as much time, if not more, watching Netflix than yes. I have watching oh, yeah, no, the totally. networks yeah. or even a, a cable pay channel. Well, and even watching this. Like my parents watch us on their uh -huh. iPads. Yeah. They don't watch it on the television because they're out and Hi, about and, and they're dad. busy. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, mom and dad. <laughs> they always are, you know, even at dinner, they watch it on their iPads. So I think that that's, it's much more feasible to people's lifestyles now that you can watch it anywhere. Can I get nostalgic for a moment? Please. Because sure. I remember in 1980, all right, we got cable, 
and that was such a big deal. But you had to change channels on this like circular round thingy yeah. that you could go like to 36, and that was the highest channel. Yeah. But the thing only had like a two foot cord, so you had to go to the TV every time you wanted to change the channel. And then one day we went to Radio Shack and we realized that we could extend the cord <laughs> and we could get it all the way out to the coffee table. And my brother and sister and me would be fighting over to control this thing to the point where we you want to get it. really nostalgic. Yeah, three channels: UHF, VHF. All oh, right, UHF. I remember that. Yeah, well, really nostalgic. I remember. Remember when we got a color television? I, and I watched the Red Skelton too. show. Yeah, for sure. Ah, my color. favorite oh show. My wow. My favorite show. Do you know the we Red gotta Skelton? We got to go. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Red Skelton was the we'll show. get the DeLorean and the 1.1 gigawatts to go back in time. It's time for potlucks next. This is the Daily Wrap.